I remember I prayed for a man down in Los Angeles who had just been discharged from the hospital. He's not the one that I want to testify about, but he's just a, a good example of what the enemy can do. The family called me in because he was sick with cancer. His niece was sick with cancer. He had four different primaries all going at once. So we're not talking about metastatic disease. We're talking about four primaries. Think about that. That's like you've got cancer of the liver. You've got prostate cancer. You've got lymphoma. I mean, he, he had four separate, completely different cancers that had nothing to do with each other. And he had just been in the hospital with sepsis. I mean, this was a really sick guy. He was so miserable when he got out. I'm just sharing a, a minute of him just because he was an interesting testimony. So they first had me pray for his niece who had cervical cancer, and she had a beautiful healing. And then they wanted me to pray for the uncle because he was so sick. And he was really grouchy when I first started to get to know him. He's down in Southern California. He literally almost took my head off, you know, that term that'll be like, right. He was really in a bad mood. <laughs> he just gets out of the hospital with sepsis and he's got all these cancers going on. It was an interesting case because I had to pray for all the different cancers separately. And he felt wonderful at the end of the session. He said, wow, he said, I feel like a new person. He said, I haven't felt like this in ages. He said, I'm I feel happy and all my symptoms are gone. He said, I feel wonderful. He went from literally like barking and biting at me to being really positive.